Hello everyone, my name is Eric, welcome into Above My Pay Grade. Uh, quick video today, uh, read something about the UN warning of mass starvation. And I've been thinking this for a while since COVID um, because I do know this, um, central planning never works and there's always unintended consequences to <laughs> things that politicians choose to do. And if it's not centrally planned, people may have made decisions, may have made, let's say around COVID, may have made cost benefit analysis that was unique for them. But here's what has happened. Um, the UN's warning of mass devastation and starvation. Why? Because uh, here in America, we have bleeding hearts for everyone around the world. And that's what, that was the message we were sold with COVID. Hey, people could die. But guess what? People are going to die from lack of food, from the supply chain breaking down. And in America, we, we kind of have a sheltered view of this. And it may hit us here really hard, but whatever hits us hard, imagine the, uh, the countries in the third world they get hit like they're they're almost subsistence as it is so if the supply chain breaks down people on the lower end of the economic totem pole get crushed same thing with inflation so all these central planners who say they care about um people number one i don't buy it and number two i'm starting to uh, if i didn't think so already sometimes i i think it's out of ignorance but um it's starting to feel a lot more malicious. And here's <clears throat> here's the long end of the curve. Here's what happens <clears throat> when people don't have food. They riot. Here's what happens when there's no economic stability. They riot. And if you look at history, look at uh, the Arab Spring. Look at what's happening in Sri Lanka right now. Look at how Hitler came to power in World War II. It all came from economic devastation. People were prepped. Um, maybe that economic devastation wasn't intentional, but in Germany, the Weimar Republic superinflated their currency or hyperinflated their currency, and that made their people desperate. And that's what allowed Hitler to come to power. Um, people weren't uh, skipping along one day, having a great life, and all of a sudden Hitler came to power and said, hey, you want to vote for me? Uh, people were desperate. People couldn't eat. People were heating their house, houses with the German mark. And uh, it's the ultimate uh, hubris to think that you can plan the world economy. It's the ultimate hubris. And the Fed's doing this, the IMF does this, the World Economic Forum does this. And uh, I'm just gonna, these are smart people, these aren't dumb people. I'm gonna assume that uh, it's not stupidity, it's actual militia like there are people out there and you may not think this way or believe that people think this way but um people <laughs> it's amazing to me that other people want control of, a, of people's lives but there are people that think you're stupid <laughs> you're too stupid to run your own life and if they only had control then the world would be a better place well we, we're seeing the fruits of that right now so i i know a lot of people get get uh, wrapped up in the uh, bleeding heart like we need to save lives but central planning throughout history has led to economic devastation which leads to riots and civil unrest which leads to war every time every time there's central planning and there's there's some kind of totalitarian that comes along it leads to war every single time and they normally don't sell it that way. That's, that's the one big thing. They don't sell it as, hey, just so you know, this whole uh, World Economic Forum, what we really want to do is uh, protect people. They want to protect the innocent. That's how they sell, they sell it. But at the end of the day, <laughs> what happens is people get subjugated, um, people fight, and people die, which is very sad. And no matter how many times it happens, it's, it's crazy to me that world, uh, world history repeats itself. And it will again, unfortunately. 
But I'd caution you, if you have friends that, um, and I have plenty of them, that are good people that really care about others, and um, they listen to these people and they believe them. They believe this bleeding heart like we care about others. But central planning, you can never account for the second and third order effects because human beings aren't computers. <laughs> you can't plug them into a model and assume how they're gonna behave. And what's happening now as a consequence of lockdowns is going to be mass starvation. And I hope it doesn't lead to violence, but I think it will because when human beings can't eat, um, bad things happen. And uh, that's why I think it's important for you to never be in that situation as far as desperation. You should always have some food um, stocked away but no matter how many times these central planners fail and fail again, they all they say is, um, we just didn't have enough control. They may not word it that way, but that's kind of how they see things. We didn't have enough control or the right person wasn't in control. Um, and you cannot comply your way out of totalitarianism. You cannot do it. <sighs> Wake up, people. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you guys can uh, share this with your friends, I much appreciate that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.